Hi, Juliana. Hi. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Thank you. So I see that uh, we have an appointment for a head to toe examination mm -hmm. today. Okay, I have your chart right here. What brings you in? I'm having difficulty to sleep at night and I don't know if it's my anxiety or what it is, but I have some heart palpitations sometimes and I, I just wanted to come in and talk to you and see if it's something is wrong. Okay, so sleep troubles and heart palpitations. And when did these symptoms begin, Juliana? I kind of increased through time. It started, I would say, a month and a half ago, but it wasn't really much. And But now, at least four times a week, I have problems to sleep. Four times a week, okay. Yeah. So that is significant to, enough to impact your quality mm -hmm. of life. So I'm very happy that you came to see me today. Have you made any changes in your lifestyle, in your diet? Not really. Um, I've been working more and that working makes more. me more anxious, I guess. Busy. Hmm. That could definitely be contributing cause to the symptoms that you mentioned. Are you on any new medication by any chance? No. No new medication. Do you have any headaches, any blurred vision, any tinnitus associated with the symptoms? A little bit of headache. Headache, okay. Um, but headaches are quite common for me to have, so it's not like it's a new symptom, but it could be something related. And when you do get the headache, um, where are they located in your head? More in the front here. In the front? Yeah. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate that front? Headache? 3. You're not, it's not bad. That's why I never really did anything about it. Just now I'm doing it because I can't sleep. And do you get the headache when you get the heart palpitations as well? Are they related? Um, not necessarily. Okay, so no obvious correlation between the two. All right. Does the headache wake you up at night from your sleep? Sometimes. Oh, okay. That's important too. Mm, make a note of... Okay. Any major trauma to the head? Any no. Um, falls or... No. Okay, so the only change is lifestyle, right? More stress from work. Mm -hmm. And when did this, um, you know, increased workload begin for you? I would say like three months ago or two. So two, three months. It may be related, yeah. Okay. And uh, when you do get the heart palpitations, do you feel any pain in your chest area? Not pain. It's more like an. Not exactly an anxiety attack, but it's just like a little bit of difficult to breathe or just like... Tightness. You know, yeah, yeah. Not tightness. pain exactly, but yeah, tightness is a good word. So tightness in the chest. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, begin the head-to-toe examination and... I'll take a look at your heart, your cardiovascular system. Okay. Um, I'll do an examination of your head, your eyes, your ears, because those two may sometimes be associated. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll take it from there. We'll get to the bottom one. Okay. Of what's hurting you today. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just sanitize my hands. And. Um, as we go through the examination, I'm going to keep asking you questions. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to just take my gloves. And 
that I've left all the way over there. Mm, I'll start by taking your vital signs. feel any heart palpitations right now? No. It's usually at night. Usually at night. Any tightness in your chest right now? Mm, no. No tightness. Any headache? Mm, a little bit. But a little bit like of a headache. One. A one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna start off by just checking your temperature. Mm -hmm. This is going to go over your forehead, behind the ear, 98.3. So good news is that you're not feverish. Mm -hmm. When was the last time that you've had any flu-like symptoms, any sickness, the common cold? Mm, it's been a while, I don't even remember. Oh, okay. Once. That is good. All right. So I'm going to take your blood pressure next. Do you have an arm preference? This one. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this one. I'm going to make this nice and tight. And make sure your foot feet are uncrossed. And I'm just going to take your pulse first, so... Okay, I'm gonna feel your radial per pulse right here at the wrist. Nice and strong, very good. Okay. And now I want you to lift this arm up. And make a fist and just um, go like this ten times to circulate the blood. Okay. And if you could hold this for me. Pressure is within normal limit, 110 over 17. Good. I'm gonna set this here. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and um, feel your pulse over the brachial artery as well and check for the character of the pulse. Good normal pulse character and your radial one more time good quite normal right I'm gonna go ahead and focus on your head I'm gonna palpate apply some pressure and I want you to stop me and let me know if you feel any discomfort mm -hmm. Checking for lumps, bumps, any deformities of the cranial area first. Just a superficial palpation. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply pressure. Any pain here? No. Go ahead and apply some pressure on the mastoid bone process behind the ear. Any pain there? No. Good. I'm gonna feel the head from the back. Just a 
applying some light pressure. No pain is indicated. Good. Right, I'm going to go ahead and fill your lymph nodes mm -hmm. next. Make sure that they are not enlarged, that they are mobile. I'm going to start with the right side first. If you can tilt your head over to your left. Gonna start by filling the preauricular lymph node over here in front of the ear. Okay, no enlargement is noted. Mobile. Filling the postauricular lymph node next. The back of the ear not enlarged occipital good taking a look at the cervical starting with the superficial cervical lymph nodes going down in the neck area deep superficial deep cervical posterior cervical good they are mobile and not enlarged I'm going to feel the Supraclavicular lymph nodes next. Okay, can you shrug up for me? Shrug up. Good. So I can feel them. You can lower now. Good. Alright. Supraclavicular lymph node feel quite okay. Gonna check the two tonsillar lymph node. God, not enlarged. Submandibular. Right there. Not enlarged. And the two submental lymph nodes in the front. Not enlarged. Okay, and the parotid. Not enlarged. Okay. Now, if you can move your head over to your right side, I'm going to fill the cervical lymph node on the left side as well. Stuff, I'm going to just take a look at your face, the skin in your face and your scalp. Have you noticed any excess dryness, any irritation with your face, any itchiness in your scalp? No. Okay. Very good. I'm going to just take a look. And just do a visual inspection first. Skin reacts to my touch. I'm not seeing any micro lesions.
normal hair distribution the color on your scalp blends well with the color on the skin on your face no scars a couple of moles they are all well defined one color okay. I'm gonna take a look over on this side as well no external discharge on the oracle of the ear to take a look at your um, scalp a little bit more in depth checking for any folliculitis signs of alopecia ringworm dandruff Checking for any hair loss, that's out of the norm. Okay. No excessive hair loss noted. No dandruff. I'm going to check the top of your head as well if you can lower it just a little bit So your scalp looks quite normal. I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of notes of these observations. Okay, did you feel any headache while I was touching your head? Not really. It actually helps me relax. Okay, good. That is a very good sign. Gonna continue with an inspection of your face, take a look at your sinuses, and then we make our way down your body. Okay. So I'm going to just feel your sinuses next. You can just close your eyes. 
going to palpate the frontal sinus first. Okay, no enlargement noted. Edmoid sinus next. Maxillary. All right. And spanoid. Good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on them. And I want you to let me know if you feel any discomfort. Okay. I wasn't able to hear any abnormal resonant sound, so you don't seem to be clogged. Um, going to also perform a um, translucent illumination test. So I want you to just close your eyes. Just going to see if I can detect any deeper blockages. Okay, that's all good. Nice and pinkish glow and if you can just open your mouth slightly okay good translucent glow can be seen excellent all right next up i'm going to take a look at your eyes have you noticed any water in your eyes any itchiness no dryness no good right i want you to look ahead straight up and i'm just going to take a look at your sclera conjunctiva i'm gonna pull down on your eye nice and pink sclera is white i can see no veins or pot blood vessels Good. The eyeballs are not bulging to the side. All right. Next up, I'm going to check for your pupil response. I want you to continue looking straight. And I'm just going to isolate one eye. Okay. Good. Pupils are responsive when direct light is hitting them. I'm going to check for the consensual response as well. Continue looking forward. I'm going to shine the light over on your left eye. Take a peek at the right one. And then repeat the test. Take a peek at the left one. Good. Consensual response is nice and accommodating. All right. Next up, I want you to keep your head straight. And I want you to look at the light right here. And just follow the eyes, the light with your eyes only. Don't move your neck. Okay, I'm gonna check all four quadrant for your eye mobility. Great. Any pain right here? No. Any pain here? No. Good. All right, and now I want you to look right here. I'm gonna bring it close okay convergence looks okay one more time and now look at the wall behind look at the pen look at the wall the pen. perfect excellent all right next up i'm going to check your peripheral vision so i want you to look at me and cover your right eye and i'm going to mirror you okay right here and i want you to tell me when you stop seeing my fingers in your field of vision 
There. Good. There. Good. There. Good. Now we're going to repeat the test over on the other eye. Cover it. And then look into there. my eye. Perfect. There. Good. So that's all positive. Good. Good findings. All right. Good. Next up, I want you to look into my eyes and not break eye contact. And I want you to touch your nose. Okay. And now I want you to keep looking in my eyes and then reach over to my finger, your nose, over here, back to your nose, over here, back to your nose, and over here, back to your nose. Very good. Okay, next up I'm going to just palpate your eyes and just feel around them. Okay, you can close your eyes. Just checking for any nodules. Applying light pressure on the eyeball at the corner of the eye and underneath. Good. Any pain here? No. Next up, I'm going to take a look at your ears. Okay. Just inspecting them. Looking at the ear oracle. Behind the ear for any hidden moles, any discharge. None is noted. Good. Alright. I'm going to take my horoscope and take a peek inside your your ear. Okay. I'm able to visualize your tympanic membrane. Pearly grey, well defined margins. A little bit of a white clear discharge on the outside of the ear canal just a little bit your inner ear looks okay now oh, no signs of any infection okay not too concerned but um should make a note of that so we can monitor. Could that be related to the headache? Um, could be. The ears, nose, and head are all interconnected systems. I'm gonna make a note of this clear discharge. And let's see how the other ear presents. Discharge on the outside of the ear oracle. Any pain here? No. Any pain here? No. Hmm. Hmm. This one also presents just a little bit of a reddish discharge. Tympanic membrane looks okay, but I'm seeing the same, the same mm -hmm. discharge in just small amounts on the mm -hmm. ear canal. Inner ear looks okay though. Okay. Okay. I'm also going to take a look at um, the optic nerve and optic disc inside mm -hmm. your eye, your retina and macula. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my I must go for this test. Okay. Okay, you can just look forward. I'm gonna 
Let's make sure that I can see you nice and clear. Taking a look at the optic nerve. Can you look into my ophthalmoscope? Perfect. Now look forward. Good. Macula is intact. No signs of macular degeneration. Good. Looks quite normal. I'm gonna take a look over on this side. defined margins for the optic disc. Normal size. Look into my ophthalmoscope. Perfect. Look forward. Good. No signs of macular degeneration and um, the retina looks okay. No concerns. Stop. I'm going to focus on your nose. Have you noticed anything abnormal with your sense of smell? No. Okay, I'm gonna just palpate first. Mm -hmm. Okay, just taking a look. I'm not seeing any discharge on the outside. I'm gonna check for pain. going to check um, patency, take a deep breath in and exhale out, good, and deep breath in, exhale out, no concerns with patency there, good, right, so I'm gonna take a little peek inside if that's okay with you, mm -hmm. okay, good, no discharge, noted, Nice and moist, no discharge, no signs of um, an infection or anything concerning. All right. Next up, I'm going to focus on your mouth. I'm just going to tap first with my medical hammer. And um, explore the bone the jawline and assess its uh, integrity. So just can just relax. You should not feel painful at all. Superficial tapping is okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of a deeper percussion next. Good. 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 Push your tongue through your cheek right here. Good. And over on this side. Good. Excellent. Alright. Gonna take a peek inside your mouth in the back of your throat next. See if I can uh, spot the pharynx. Check for any infection in the back of the throat. Okay. Say, oh, uh, good. 
teeth are intact, no signs of tartar buildup, plaque. Good. I'm not able to spot your thyroid, so no signs of a lingular thyroid. Mm -hmm. And can you stick your tongue out for me? Okay, just checking for the color. Looks like you're well hydrated. Can you try to touch the tip of your tongue with your lip, uh, with your tongue, yes, and the bottom of your lip with your tongue, good. And the side right here and over here, good. And now can you do a rotating move with your tongue? Perfect. Okay, no concerns there. I'm gonna just take a couple of notes. Cranial area is within normal limit. Eyes are okay. Optic disc is intact. Nose, ear, and throat. No positive findings. Sinuses present themselves in the normal conditions. And cranial nerves, three. Four and five intact. Okay, Juliana. So far, so good. Um, I'd like you to turn around so that I can take a look at your back next. Okay. Just gonna take these out of the way. Okay. I'm going to my stethoscope okay is it okay if I untie right yes. here? visual inspection of your back, checking for any lesions, any obvious misalignments or symmetries, no moles, no redness. going to palpate the spine. Spine is straight. Okay. Going to palpate a little deeper. to say 99 when I push down on your back. 99. Good. 99. Good. 99. Good. Resonance is symmetric. I'm able to um, here just feel just a little bit of vibrational dullness while you say that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and palpate without my gloves next.
deeper percussion. Good. Not hearing any dullness that's excessive, no reduced resonance, no hyper resonance, which is very good. Right, next up I'm going to listen to your lungs with my stethoscope. Just breathe normally. Take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Good. You can just breathe normally. Up, I want you to say one, two, three every time I touch with the stethoscope. One, two, three. Good. And now I want you to whisper one, two, three. One, two, three. Good. I was not able to hear the whispering through the stethoscope, which is very good. All right. Next up, I'm going to do a kidney tenderness check. So I'm going to just place my hand on the kidney and do a deeper pulse. So let me know if you feel any pain. Good. Good. I'm also going to explore the spine, the vertebrae, and the scapulas in the back with some light tapping. Good. 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 I'm hearing very good resonance sounds.
Alright, Juliana, now I want you to lay down so I can take a look at your abdomen and your feet and your legs. Okay, okay Juliana, are you nice and comfy? Yes. Alright, is it okay if I lift up your shirt just a little mm -hmm. bit? No I'm going to expose your abdomen and can also lower your pants. Mm -hmm. going to begin by just doing an inspection of your abdomen and I'm going to listen to your heart, um, your aortic artery, um, various points along your abdomen and um, do an assessment of your cardiovascular system. I'm just going to inspect looking for any lesions any abnormal colors blues or purples any bulging that's obvious any asymmetries okay not noting anything I'm going to take a listen with my stethoscope. And begin by listening to your heart. to hear S1 and S2, no extra sounds, no murmurs, lungs sound clear in the front as well, no adventitious sounds are heard. I'm able to hear light bowel movements within the normal limits as expected. Okay. I'm also going to listen to your aortic artery in between your breasts. Good, normal sound. And I'm um, going to take a listen at your mitral area. Good. So I'm hearing normal sound. Next up, I'm going to palpate the point of maximal impulse in between the eighth intercostal space at the midclavicular line. So right about right 
about here. That's where I can palpate the cardiac impulse. Very good. Normal. I'm also going to listen to the carotid artery over on your neck for any bruits. No bruits are hurt. And finally, I'm going to switch over to the bell side. And see if I can spot any superficial sounds that are out of the norm. Checking on all four quadrants. Mm, very good. Gonna set my stethoscope right here, and I'm also going to palpate next, and I'll start with a light palpation. Check the size of your internal organs, spot any masses, anything that may be out of the norm. And I'd like you to lift your knees up a little bit just so that your abdominal muscles are not in the way during palpation. I'm going to attempt to feel the tip of the liver over here and I want you to help me by taking a deep breath in and then breathe out and I'm gonna just touch the tip good no masses are felt and I'm also going to attempt to feel your kidneys Deep breath in and out. Good. I'm not able to feel your your kidneys, which um, is a good sign they're not enlarged. All right. You can now lower your legs. And um, I'm gonna take a look at your legs um, and your feet next. Okay. Juliana. Next up I'm going to just inspect your legs. I'm looking for any moles, any scars, any colors like blues and purples. not noting any abnormalities of the skin. All right. A couple of scars over your knee, I assume, from playing when you're a kid, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They look like they healed properly.
I'm going to flex your foot towards your chest. Any pain right here? No. Good. And I'm going to flex your left foot to your chest. Any pain right here? No. Good. Okay. Alright. I'm going to take your pedal pulses next. The first one being the dorsal pedal pose at the top of your midfoot two plus almost three synchronized I'm also going to check for the posterior tibial pulse right there good all normal all right I'm going to tap on your knee and evaluate the state of your patella next Check for any signs of edema. No signs of edema noted. Normal temperature, even or throughout. No excess sweating. Do you feel this? Mm -hmm. And this? Mm -hmm. And this? Yes. Just say yes when you feel it. Yes. Can you push into my hand with your toes? Very good. Okay. I'm going to take a peek at your toenails. Check for any signs of clubbing, pitting. Good. Taking a peek in between your toes. Just tap on the bones of your of your uh, feet and your legs and check for bone integrity.
Right. Right. Right, you can come back up now. Okay, Juliana. Next up, I'd like to check your dermatomes. Dermatomes are nerves that um, control the sensations mm -hmm. in your skin. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be using this device. And I want you to keep your eyes closed and say yes when you feel me touching you with this. Okay. Yes. 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 Good. And now may I please have your palm? We're going to be doing a test that's called sharper dull. This is dull and this is sharp. Okay. So keep your eyes closed and tell if I'm touching you with the sharp or the dull. Okay. okay. Dull. Sharp. 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 Okay. Dull. Good. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. And over here. Sharp. Dull. 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 Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. 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 Good. Okay, very good. Next up, I'm going to check your myotomes. Myotomes are groups of muscles in your body that are controlled by the same single spinal nerve. Mm -hmm. So um, I want you to try to push into my hand with your head towards me. Good. Now I'm going to attempt to pull you towards me. Don't let me do that. Good. I'm going to attempt to push you away from me. Don't let me do that. And I'm going to attempt to bring your arm forward, up. Don't let me do that. Good. Again. Good. All right. Don't let me bring your arm up. Don't let me bring it towards me. Good. And if you can keep your arms parallel to your body, I'm going to attempt to open them. Don't let me do that. Good. I'm going to attempt to lift them up. Don't let me do that. And I'm going to attempt to lower them. Don't let me do that. Good. Very good. All right. And finally, I'm going to attempt to pull you back. Don't let me do that. And push you forward. Good. You're strong. All right, Juliana, this concludes the assessment for today. Mm -hmm. I'm not able to find anything abnormal with you. I do recommend that um, you try to stay off caffeine if you drink caffeine. Um, try to go to bed early, so mm -hmm. don't stay up too late. Mm -hmm. No electronics after 6 p.m. at night, if mm -hmm. possible. Um, listen to ASMR if you can. That will relax you. Oh, well, I will look into that. Yes. Do you have any questions for me today? Do you have anything that I could take at night to sleep or something if yes, that helps? Absolutely. So I do recommend that you start taking magnesium supplement. Mm -hmm. They do help relax the muscles mm -hmm. and just put you in a nice comfy state right before bed. Okay. So magnesium would help. You can mm -hmm. find that over the counter. I've heard about melatonin, but I never had tried. But yeah, I want to ask you if it's okay. Yes, you can take uh, two to five milligrams of melatonin okay. in the short term. Those I wouldn't rely on that in the long gotcha. run. 
there haven't been um, any studies done for the long use of melatonin, so mm -hmm. we really don't know how it might affect us in the long run. Okay. So um, take it one or two times a month. Okay. Um, but yeah, try not to create a dependence on it. Okay, great. Thank you. Fresh air would help, so taking a walk right mm -hmm. before you go to bed at night. Mm -hmm. um, exercise. Do you exercise regularly? Sometimes I try. <laughs> So do try to increase that okay. if you can. And as far as the stress at work goes, um, I recommend you start talking to somebody about it. Usually okay. not talking about your stress just gives you um, a relief. Mm -hmm. So do try to open up with your friends okay. and family. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. Thank you as well. I'll see you next time.